Coming up in this video, we're going to do a mixed berry and coconut muffin. So we will see you in 30 seconds. Let me tell you a story about the baddest dog that ever was. Sneaking food from the fridge, tearing up the garbage He's a goofy old Dexter the dog He's a bad, bad Dexter the dog The baddest pup that there ever was Seat stealing all day long Howling like a junkyard dog Since this is more of a muffiny treat, we are going to use some coconut flour um, as you probably know, I don't use any wheat flour or any of that stuff. So coconut is my flour of choice for this recipe. And remember, coconut does provide a lot of vitamins and minerals. It's antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. So it's a great choice to work with some kind of flour. Next up, I do have one cup of clover sprouts. And sprouts and microgreens are great antioxidants. They provide a lot of amino acids. We got some zinc. They're full of fatty acids. And we always have to sneak in our greens. So I am going to put them in here, but I'm also going to kind of, because they stick together a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and kind of separate them to make it easier when I stir up. We're going to make this a berry muffin. So I have two cups of mixed berries. We have blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries in this mix. We love our little powerhouse berries. Nice and flavorful, nice and healthy. It'll get that sweet component. Now this little beauty has been in the refrigerator overnight. So what it actually is, it's two tablespoons of chia seeds and one cup of water. I used water because that's what I had in the house, but you can use anything liquid that's healthy like bone broth, fermented fish stock, goat milk, anything like that. And by keeping it overnight, it gelled up and it got nice and poofy, so it's going to act as a binder. Chia seeds are great to boost the energy. They also have omega-3s. They also offer fiber and protein. Dump that right in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. And to top it off, I have a farm fresh duck egg. If you don't have a duck egg and you're using regular chicken eggs, you'll probably want to use two chicken eggs to one duck egg. Our egg is going to provide protein and amino acids and act as another binder. We need good binders with coconut flour because coconut flour doesn't have that gluten so it makes it a little difficult to work with. Look at that big yolk. Dexter does eat raw eggs as well. So next I'm going to hit my mixer. Alright, so this recipe here is I am creating on the fly. So it seems a little thick. So I'm going to go ahead and add some water. So let's add one cup of spring water and see what that does. That's kind of the thing with recipes. When we're creating recipes for our pets or ourselves and we're making them from scratch, you just got to see what's going to work. They're not all hits. Alright, that looks like a better consistency. So this, this I can work with. Dexter's over there stomping away. He wants to lick the beater. He thinks I should. Alright. I'm not concerned about the raw egg because Dexter actually gets raw egg as part of his diet. And if you're curious as to why, or to learn about any of the risks, you can check the links below in the description. I wrote a whole article on eggs and dogs. Oh, he's getting his tongue right in there. Oh, he's getting it in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. those eyeballs. Oh, 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 oh. Did you miss a piece? Oh, a sprout. You got the sprout. You missed one. Oh, he's like more. So what I did was I took um, my muffin pan and I lined it with these cute little paw print cups. I saw these in the store and I just had to buy them. Um, I did take a little bit of coconut oil and I went inside that so hopefully it'll be a little easier to remove once it's baked. 
I'm going to take my ice cream scoop and use that for scooping up the batter. That way I'll have the same amount in each cupcake and it'll cook evenly. It's got a pretty purple color to it, that's for sure. I took coconut oil and did a little rub on this one as well. But I'm going to use my small scooper. Those big muffins are big. I'm not going to give Dexter a whole muffin at a time. As much as he would like to, it would be busted up into a couple different servings. And believe it or not, it does actually smell pretty good. Alrighty, there you have it. So that's what I ended up with. I am going to put it in the oven for 400 degrees and I have no idea for how long yet. So stay tuned! So our muffins came out. The small muffins were about 30 minutes. The bigger muffins were 50. I ended up throwing away the bone muffins. It kind of was a little stinky. I've never cooked in those before. I've only done frozen snacks. So I got a little worried. So into the garbage they went. We must know, are they Dexter approved? Do you want to try one? Want to try one? You sure? All right, here's your mixed berry muffin. Oh, chew, chew, Dexter. <laughs> Are they good? Oh, I said chew. Chew. Now, Dexter, you're going to have to chew it. So he did try to gulp that last one down. <laughs> I think he liked it. So we're going to have to split it in half. There's a bit. Chew, chew, chew. Did you chew? Want another piece? <laughs> Easy! That's my finger! Alright, now here's your last bit. Chew it up. Not my fingers. <laughs> Alright, so if you think your pups will enjoy this berry coconut muffin, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and do hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified of upcoming videos. If you want to dive deeper into your dog's training, care, and behavior, check out our Patreon page. The link is below. Until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life, and we'll see you in the next video.